Welcome to our data science tutorial. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many of you might encounter when working with data sets. Our viewer has a question about how to avoid failing when a factor has new levels in the test set. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To address the issue of new factor levels in your test set, we first need to understand why this error occurs. When you split your data set into training and testing subsets, the training set may not contain all the levels of a factor present in the full data set. The error message indicates that the predict function encounters a factor with levels that were not present during the model training. To resolve this, we can modify the factor levels in the test set to match those in the training set. One way to do this is by using the drop levels function in R. This function will drop any unused levels from the factor in your test set. Here's how you can implement it. After applying drop levels, you can proceed with the prediction. This will ensure that the predict function only considers the levels that were present in the training set, thus avoiding the error. In summary, Always ensure that your test set factors align with those in your training set. Using drop levels is an effective way to handle new levels and prevent prediction errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To avoid errors when your test set has new levels in categorical variables, start by generating your data with a binary response and several independent variables. Then, create your training and testing sets, ensuring that some categorical variables in the test set have more categories than in the training set. When you try to predict using a model trained on this data, you may encounter an error indicating that there are new levels in your categorical variables. To handle this, you can filter out rows in the test set that contain these new levels. you can implement a function to drop these new categories from the test set. After filtering, you can successfully make predictions without encountering errors. Once you have a clean test set without new levels, you can predict successfully. This approach ensures that your model works smoothly without failing due to unexpected categories. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you're able to get through your problem. If it did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.